I'm really sorry to insult you, but your iPhone is starting to look a little bit small, at least in comparison to these. This is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. Yes, these have got bigger screens, but there's lots more in them too, including new cameras and NFC chips to help you kill your wallet. Both the 6 and the 6 Plus have new Retina HD displays that display far more than you've been able to see on your iPhone 5 or 5S. Like a bigger Android phone, it's great for seeing more of web pages, and Apple's added a special landscape mode for the home screen with the 6 Plus. On both phones, you can move through web pages and emails with swipes on the side. But I really prefer the smaller version for my smaller hands. The 5.6 Plus, the larger version of the two, just arrived. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our iPhone 6 Plus unboxing. So this is it. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, the larger brother to the iPhone 6, um, but it's pretty much what people have been begging Apple for for years now, because this, this thing is tiny. This is the iPhone 5, and if you see in my hands, it looks just like a toy. It's so small. So everyone has been asking Apple for a larger iPhone, and as you can tell from the size of this box, that's exactly what we got. We got two versions this year, the iPhone 6, which is 4.7, and this one, which is the iPhone 6 Plus at 5.5 inches. So uh, let's get in the box and see just how big this new iPhone is. Um, I do have a little cutting tool right here that I like to carry on my keychain. Let's get in. Um, I do know one thing about this box already. I have not opened this, clearly. All the seals are still closed. But I do know that there's no branding or no, no image on the box this year. It's just a little uh, embossed or an outline of an iPhone, but no iPhone image, which is new. Um, but as you can see, just going around the box, it's exactly what we can expect from Apple. Very plain, very toned-down uh, packaging. And, of course, it's wrapped and plastic. So let's get that cut open really quickly. See what's inside the box. I bet everyone can already guess what's in the box. Um, of course, this is the 64 gigabyte version. So um, there are three this year. You have 16 64 gigabytes and you have 128, which is very nice. I almost opted for that, but I stayed with 64 gigabytes because I have a 32 gigabyte iPhone 5 right now and I had about 50% storage left the other day when upgrading to iOS 8. So let's get the phone out and immediately you can see it is very, very, very thin. But uh, we'll set this aside because that's what we do to see what's underneath. So, of course, you have your little pull tab, which reveals this. I'm definitely interested in it and how it works. So, uh, ov overall, I like the iPhone 6 Plus. It definitely looks very nice. Uh, it's beautifully done. I like how the finish, uh, the gold or the silver or black, goes to both ends. There's no, these white slats on the back, so that made a difference for me in the look of it also and how it worked. Overall, definitely just a beautiful device and a great offering from Apple. And I don't think uh, iOS users or Apple users are going to be disappointed at all with this. In fact, I think it's a wonderful improvement over the iPhone 5 and 5S and the Apple, of course, iPhone 4 and 4S. So there you have it. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, I would get the iPhone 6 Plus if you are in the market for it. I definitely like the 1080p screen. Um, it's not quite as sharp as some of the other screens that I've seen when it comes to PPI, but it definitely does a good job. And the PPI is much better on the uh, iPhone 6 Plus than on the just the plain iPhone 6. So I definitely remember, recommend that you get the full 1080p experience on the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, it's definitely light, definitely thin, so it doesn't feel as bulky onto your pocket, and maybe that can make a difference for some people that aren't into phablets. But it really is up to your taste and what you want to have it achieve. There's definitely a whole lot more in iOS 8, but we won't really get into that because that's not specific to the iPhone 6 review. Definitely like the phone. So if you're an Apple fan, this is a wonderful offering, and it does a great job of putting forth a new phone that's going to kick butt for you. So be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, watch for the reviews we're going to do. We're going to compare this side by side with about 30 other phones that we get from all the major carriers. Thanks for coming by the Chris Be sure to check back in often.